All right, hello everyone. I'm gonna give this a go. Had a few things change in my life. Had some life-changing events going on. Decided I was trying to do something this new year in 2020. Start this decade off. Make a few videos for YouTube. One of the things I've been doing here in the past, I've been playing uh, Magic the Gathering. It's a card game I started playing when I was a kid. My actual deck cards is uh, kind of like the game. I mean, it's an ultimate playing game. Strategies and numbers, I'm telling you, it, it, it's really out there. Uh, lots of characters, everything from cool art to numbers, strategy, to the reading, uh, imagination. Great game for for things but good for me just good for anybody kind of keep their mind sharp thinking through things I liked it mostly because it was a good way to relax just sit back find a nice comfortable chair nice place kind of quiet kind of get your mind off of everything and on something else playing with cards play with people it's kind of a cool thing but they've got this magic the gathering arena now for the computers that I started picking up and so I decided to make a video for this. I looked out there, I saw some of the stuff they've got. There's all kinds of YouTube videos out there with people playing and game nights and other type of things. Pretty good stuff once you start to understand things. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a shot and maybe give a quick uh, introduction to how some of this plays. So if some of you play out there or want to try this, give it a go. But don't get discouraged. I'm telling you, these guys will come on here. They've got all these fancy cards. They went and put a lot of money into it. They've been playing it for a while. Shoot, they'll knock you out right out. Play it again, knock you out. And I mean, it just takes a little bit to figure out how to do some of this stuff because it's, it's a pretty good, complicated game. But once you get into it, though, you'll do great and you'll probably love it. So give it a try and uh, let's see if I can show you how to get started. As you go through here, this is their main page. They've got different features that they uh, advertisements or gimmicks or different things going on that they kind of scroll through here they have different events that come up on the side here when you set this up you can go into an actual advanced players mode or just an advanced player mode on that kind of selects what kind of games you can play so when you come in here you play these different games there's a set of selections which are similar to these different ones over here and then these are the different kinds of matches that you can play against um, right now and this would be the deck that you're going to play so just just kind of get yourself familiar with that kind of thinking and ideas they have special events that come up over here um, as you go to this you can come down to different kinds of play so now it's kind of restricts you to like a beginner still got a little bit of restricted set here kind of show you where to start but uh, there's a few different things they've got you know your basic play you can go out there and play against somebody but it doesn't change any of your ranks the levels any kind of a uh, earning coins, nothing like that. It's just to go out and play a friendly game with somebody else online. Automatically matches you up with somebody. And then you've got your standard rank kind of thing. This is where you're trying to build up a rank. So you have a profile in here that you can go into. And you have ranks that you can build up for each one of the seasons. You can see now, season's going to end in 26 days. So whatever you've got left in these ranks, you can get some prizes for it. Work your way up. They have competitions and all kinds of things you can get invited to based on how well you do uh, with that rank. So there's uh, lots of different ways to do these things. But uh, that's based on the profile. They also have this mastery level things they've been doing. You got to pay into it, unlock extra winnings when you go through and you win so many different games to get to the different levels. Or they have the basic ones that you can win as you go through the different levels and go up. This kind of thing is a gem, and of course it can get kind of expensive. You can come over here and you can look in the store, and they'll have a lot of the different events, packs, things that, they, that you can buy for, pre-order stuff, fancy cards, um, sleeves that you would see, you know, kind of mimic what's a real sleeve on the cards you play in reality, uh, other kinds of things where you can buy. Now they got these little pets off to the side. It's, it's okay, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I think it's cool now they're doing brawls, which is kind of like a uh, a commander type deck, sort of. Pretty cool game, so I'll get a chance to do some of those. Didn't do those when I first started in here. Things have kind of uh, progressed a little bit. They didn't have the pets, they didn't have that. It's just pretty recent. Seems like there's a lot of people out there, too. Whenever you play, you don't have to wait long to find somebody to pair with. So it's going to be pretty popular, and uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people out there loving it. But as you can see through here, you can get gems, 20,000 gems for $100. So 
pretty much the main way to get gems is to pay for it like this. Uh, there are these other things that they have. The coins. Which you can show you how you have the coins up here in the top and your gems that you've you've gotten playing through this. But you know, you don't have to spend a whole lot on this game. You don't have to come in here and spend money on these things. Like I was showing with the profile. See here, we're at twenty bucks for three thousand four hundred gems. Kind of gives you an idea of the actual monetary value. If you come in and you look at your profile, you go to this mastery thing, that's what it costs for a mastery. So that's one of the popular things a lot of people will buy to get these gems to do this. But you don't have to do that. You can actually earn these gems. If you go back and you look at the different events that come up, that there's different um, play. This one is one event. You can win different prizes. So you can get some you know, cool card styles. So when you're playing them, it looks really neat. Uh, you can build up your XP. Go up on your levels and you'll see how some of that stuff goes when you start playing. I don't think I'll get on a lot of that right now, but uh, well, as I go, maybe later. But you can see here, you can pay the gems if you want, but if you're trying to save them up, that's not what you want to do. You can actually pay these these uh, coins that you earn in the game, and you can earn these coins by playing. So the more you play, the more coins you can earn, and you can get daily events down here. Where you get cards, sometimes you can win uh, coins, you have different things, how many monsters you play, how many spells you cast, how many different color spells, and you can, you can win those coins and build up the coins high enough, then you can play these other things like the raft draft. So you can come in here and this you see you can basically do anything, you get 50 gems just for playing. You win one, you get 100 gems. A lot of times you can win one out of three if you got some kind of decent deck. Trying to get into two starts to a little bit more difficult if you're a beginner. Uh, a lot of these guys kind of build the decks real good. But every once in a while you get pretty good. You start getting around three, you get a good deck built, you can work all the way up here to seven wins. Uh, get you 9,500 gems by playing through a series of these games. So that's one way to do it. And then you can save up the gems. You get enough gems saved up and you're not really spending much money. I haven't really spent anything on this thing at all. I think I spent one of the promotional starts like five bucks or something for a few things at one point in time and didn't even have to do that. So just keep that in mind. If you want to play and have a good time and work your way into it, it's good to kind of play the games anyway. You're going to be playing. You want to play. Might as well play, earn the coins, learn how to do it, and get built up. Don't think you're going to jump in here and start playing against these guys that, that are taking this thing super serious. Um, but you can get there. Don't get discouraged. So we go back to the home. Different games that you can play in here. There's uh, the different levels. So if you switch here, you come back and you'll see more sets. Basic plays is somebody out there. Standard rank. You're building up your profile rank. You got traditional rank, and that's basically best two out of three or best two games kind of thing. Whoever wins the first two, so you get the opponent going. He wins one. You win one. Whoever whoever gets the two first wins it. They get a couple of steps up on the rank as if you won a couple of normal standard rank games um, or just standard play where you're not worried about the rank. Then there's Historic which is about the difference in the decks. Uh, this has to do with what kind of cards are available. Uh, each year they out, out, out move the older cards back, they bring in a new set, uh, have to play through that, kind of have to get everything reoriented to a, a new deck. If it's kind of Historic stuff you can bring in that whole slew that you used to play with but uh, there's a lot of cards out there. It's a pretty powerful one, so you just big difference in the card play. But that's the only the only change there. Bot match though is kind of cool. It's a little bitty internal thing that you play, and I'll play a match of that. And I'll show you how All right, well, that was a simple video. Hope you like it. Hope not too bored. I know it's kind of laid back, laid back talking, kind of who I am. But uh, sometimes I get a little more action. Just a quick, how does it work? Give it a try. It's a good game. Thanks for watching.